Hi everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a holiday look. This look is so stunning to me. I've had it in my head to do all December and now is the time that I was able to sit down and fully execute the look to how I want it. I wanted my hair to look a certain way. I wanted my makeup to look a certain way. I want to have on a certain shirt, a certain jewelry. Like everything had to be a certain way for me to do this video. And so once everything has aligned, the stars have aligned, I have the tutorial here for you all. Oh, the moment that we've been waiting for. So to start, I've already done my eyebrows and I used Anastasia's Brow Wiz in Caramel and I did my foundation. I used the Becca, what is this called? I used the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and I'm in the color Fawn. So start off by priming your this eyes. Max 24 hour extended eye base and you just need a little bit. Now to set that, I'm going to take an eyeshadow by MAC and this one is called Brulee with my Tom Ford blending brush. And I'm just going to apply this eyeshadow all over any area where I apply the eyeshadow base. And you can tell it'll start like really gripping on. You can feel it. So next as my first transition color, I'm taking a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow and this one is in the color Toast. You definitely have to take a transition color suitable for your skin tone. This one's a little light. So if you're lighter than me, this one will work. But if you're a little bit darker than me, I would suggest going a shade darker. Using the same brush, I'm just going to use the windshield wiper technique Basically, you will go back and forth in your crease and you'll start to see it really being blended and blown out. So just back and forth, back and forth constantly until the color is deposited. What this does is it helps the eyeshadows underneath it blend, but it also gives your eye a little bit of shape. So now I'm going to start on the lid. I always go back and then I add more into the crease later. And I just found that that helps me blend my colors a little bit better. Right here, this is a Kat Von D eyeshadow, and this one is in the color Thunderstruck. This one is very popular right now. Um, it's a gorgeous color. These, are these called Mega Metal? No. These Metal Crush eyeshadows are so nice and buttery and smooth. They give you such the prettiest application with just the smallest amount. I literally just tapped my brush in there. And this is the enough color payoff for me to do both of my inner tear ducts. So I just applied it there and that's going to make our eyes look super bright on the inner corners. So now I really love these but I know that they're only available either in MAC Pro stores or online. This one is a MAC pigment but it's not just a regular pigment. This one is in the color Rose Gold. It's a metallic pigment. How it looks in this container is how it's going to look on our eyes without using any type of products to wetten or dampen our brush. So I'm using the same brush. This is a MAC 242. I use that to apply the inner tear ducts color. I'm going to just kind of wipe it off and then I'm going to use the same one and apply this color on my lid. You can apply this color on your lid dry or wet. It doesn't matter, but you want to be careful because it may have fallout. So whenever you put your brush on it, I just use whatever is um, on the very top of the lid, to be honest, and that's usually enough, and I tap it. And then make sure that you press the color in so it doesn't fall on your face, especially if you've already done your foundation. So I'm just focusing this color on the bottom portion of the lid using patting motions. Notice I'm not blending back and forth like I did with the crease color. This needs to really just be intensified and packed on the lid using packing motions. So basically what you do is you um, quickly tap the eyeshadow brush up and down on your lid to pat or pack the color on your lid. And as you see, you may need more definitely repeat repeat the process so I'm going to apply this all the way across my lid and I'm then I'm leaving this very little portion open right on the outer corner tap and get right on top of thunderstruck to blend it together and then you may have to go back with your blending brush too just to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow just to make sure that it is still smooth. So this is what we're looking for at this point. So I'm going in with another Bobbi Brown eyeshadow and this one is called Black Plum with the same blending brush. Just slightly dust it off and then dip it right into this eyeshadow. 
tap off the excess. I'm focusing this color right in the crease and I'm also not taking it all the way in. And this is what's going to add more depth to the eye look and kind of naturally flick it to blend it. But I just want that color to be right here, right where the crease actually is, like where I would open my eyes and there's naturally a fold. I'm putting it there. So this is not a crease that I'm creating. This is just an area where I'm adding shadow. And then once you get to the outer corner, you can do a circular motion. Don't add any more product and just flick it upwards to blend it. So as you see, I didn't add any more here and it gave a little bit more depth. So now I'm going back with the flat shader brush. You can get either a new brush or you can use the same one and like I said, just wipe off the eyeshadow. And I'm taking Sketch Eyeshadow by MAC, which has a little bit more of a shimmer to it and it's not quite as dark as Black Plum as you can see. So I wanted to use Black Plum first to really just smoke it out and also as like more so of a blending color. So I'm taking Sketch on this flat shader brush and then that area that we left open purposefully at the beginning where we did not place rose gold I'm going to apply that eyeshadow right there what I'm doing is I'm just patting this color right here on the outer corner of my lid and then I'm blending it up with black plum and also I'm tapping it gently to blend it with rose gold make sure you regularly go back with your blending brush to blend out any harsh edges and lines Okay, so I like this a lot. And so I'm going to move on and do some concealer. And then I come back and I do my eyeliner. The reason I do this a lot of times is because I like a crisper edge. Now, if you don't want your edge of your eyeshadow to be this crisp, then you would go ahead and finish off your eye look. But I do this a lot of times to clean up just the outside of my eye and give it a neater appearance. And this one is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Biscuit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my favorite setting powder, the Laura Mercier Translucence Powder. And I'm going to apply this right on my concealer. So next I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner. And I'm taking a super dark brown eyeliner. This one is called Low Lights by MAC. It's a rich chocolate eyeliner and I really like this one. So this is what we ended up with. Not too bad. I had to go back and make it a little bit thicker, but hey. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. Tell me where that quote's from. So now to set my entire face, I'm taking a little bit of Max Studio Fix Powder. And I'm going to go back with a black plum and a pencil brush. And make sure you connect it to the top. And then I'm going to go back with a little bit of Thunderstruck and pop that right in that space. So I don't take Black Plum all the way to the inner corner. Leave a little bit for Thunderstruck. So I want to be a little bit more sparkly for Christmas. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Duo Glue, and I mean just the smallest amount, with my um, same pencil brush. If you have a synthetic brush, this will work. That will work better. So right on top of Thunderstruck at the bottom, I'm just going to lightly tap some of this glue. If you have glitter glue, also use that. And this one is Reflex Gold MAC um, Glitter. And it's a really pretty transparent glitter. It's like a white gold, it's gorgeous. And so I'm just going to tap that right on the inner corner yeah you can see it a lot better right there so you can see the difference so the lashes that I'm using are the Sasha lashes by Huda Beauty I'm a big fan of multitasking so while I'm waiting for the glue to dry on my lashes I'm going to do some bronzer I'm using the NARS bronzer in the color casino and this is a MAC 161 Duo Fiber brush. So I don't even know how I like this brush to be honest with you. So I'm just going to tread lightly with that. So for blush, I'm going to use a Tom Ford color, which is like my favorite. 
This one is called Savage and it does not look like much in the pan, but trust me, on the cheeks is so pretty. And this is a Tom Ford cheek brush. And it gives like this so, oh, so freaking pretty. Super pretty glow, I love this freaking blush. And I just take it all over my cheeks. So then for my highlight, oh my gosh, this is another Tom Ford product. This one is called Mood Light with the same um, Tom Ford cheek brush. I mix the two. And I'm just going to apply that right here for my highlight. I freaking love this combination. So then I'm going to add a little bit of um, brow gel. This one is Quiet Brunette just to keep my brow hairs in check because I have really unruly brow hairs. And so this basically gels them down and also the color adds a little bit of lightness to my brows and so I like that about it. I think my eyes have stopped clowning for now so I'm going to add a little bit of this chromographic pencil by MAC in my waterline and basically it is a flesh colored pencil and I'm just taking it like right here up until where I put the glitter because I under no circumstances want to mix this glitter in with this pencil. A tiny bit of mascara at the bottom. This one is MAC's Extended Play Mascara. First I'm going to lightly line my lips with Cork by MAC. I'm going to fill it in with Zulu. I'm going back with a touch of the top of Mood Light. I'm going to apply a little bit of that right in the center of the lips. Christian Louboutin lipsticks are all I need. I'm going to take this Luminous Dewy Skin Mist by Tatcha. So this is my finalized holiday look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Here's an overview. Here are my brows and my eyes and the cheeks and the lips. I hope that you all enjoyed this look and I hope that you all have a very blessed holiday season and please subscribe if you have not done so that way you are notified every single time I upload a video and also my social media if you're looking for me on social media is always Kelsey Brianna J so if you're looking for me type in Kelsey Brianna J and I should pop up pretty much everywhere but MySpace even though I might still pop up on MySpace. <laughs> But well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I thank you so much for watching. Smooches. Bye.